Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Zed, and welcome back to Clash TV. So today, guys, as you can see, the new Electro Wizard challenge has been introduced, but the problem is, look at my tournament log. So as you can see, on my first try in this Electro Wizard challenge, I only got one victory, which was so bad, guys. And after that, I got the four victories, which I invested my all my gems in this challenge so I got focus but as you can see that was really worth because I got the graveyard from that four four challenges four electro wizard challenges which is really awesome today guys what we are gonna do is we are gonna use the golem graveyard deck and let's see if we can win some battle with it or not so if you guys don't have the log you can just switch it with the skeleton army not the skeleton army the minion sorry free legs the minions are really good for this deck so as that being said let's get into some live attack so let's as you can see we got our opponent and i'm gonna give him a good luck first so as soon as i hit 10 elixir like if he didn't drop anything i'm gonna drop my golem at the back so as you can see i'm gonna drop my golem he's gonna drop his own furnace there that furnace is level 9 so it's not gonna do any damage to my tower which is good so now I'm gonna drop a mega minion followed with my golem he's gonna drop a giant at the back I think it was a mistake because he should first defend my push then he should use that so as you can see I'm not gonna uh, I'm just gonna push hard there and I'm gonna drop a graveyard so graveyard is doing so much damage to his tower but I have to take care of his push now so I'm gonna drop a no, I'm not gonna drop a mini P.E.K.K.A. I should have dropped a mini P.E.K.K.A. there But it's too late now so That was such a bad fireball I also missed the Archers from it and it cost me the negative elixir trade So anyway we are gonna take it and I think we are still in elixir advantage so I'm gonna drop a golem at the back again His furnace is still going on but it's useless because any not even a single fire spirit is heading to my on my tower. So he's gonna drop his giant at the back again. So his tower is too low. I can probably just take his tower with this push. So I'm gonna drop a mini Pekka, but that was a mistake too because that fire spirit just hit my mini Pekka and mini Pekka just went down. And as you can see, his my golem reached to tower and it's an damage and as you can see I'm gonna fireball it and it's gonna give me so much value and I don't want that elite barbarian to hit my tower so I'll drop my fire spirit there so his furnace took out my fire spirit his furnace fire spirit took out my fire spirit so now I'm gonna drop a golem at the back his furnace is still running around and he's gonna drop that I'm gonna drop a mini P.E.K.K.A do not take any damage to my tower and now I'm gonna drop my mega minion so look at that elite barbarian doing what those level 10 elite barbarians do so much work my golem is all the way down almost down just need some hit to take it away and he's gonna zap me not I'm gonna zap him but as you can see we did so much damage to his tower his tower is all the way down and now I'm gonna drop a mini pega to make sure I didn't get that giant doesn't get any hit on my tower he's gonna drop some archers I'm gonna drop my mega minion to take that archers out but that my archers are gonna no my mega minion is gonna take two hits to kill that archers so archers kill my out and as you can see I'm gonna drop a golem and this will be a GG for him because I'm just gonna fireball him he's gonna fireball me but I have 400 HP left and fireball doesn't do so much damage so we are gonna win this battle so easy So this deck is so awesome guys you should try this deck if you have the graveyard so anyway hope you enjoy this video guys thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe